This CES update is powered by Ford. Hi, I'm Jim Lauterbach from Revision 3 here at CES, and I just saw one of the coolest products ever. Okay, you gotta understand, this is the notebook I've been carrying around for a while. It's an X220, and I love it. Not so much anymore, though, because I just got my hands on the new Helix. This is from Lenovo. Features, now take a look at this. It's got an 11.6 inch screen. It's really nice. It's 1920 by 1080, great resolution. It's a touch screen, as you would imagine, running Windows 8. But here's the really cool thing about it. Uh, let's say you want a tablet, you press this button and look at this. It's a full on tablet. Out comes the tablet. You can use it as a full on. Now this is running full on Windows 8. Didn't any of this RT stuff. Full on Windows 8 runs like a beautiful tablet. It is a beautiful tablet. Six hours of battery life. You can carry it around. And I want to talk about the base for a minute and show you some cool things you can do with it. Okay. So this is the base now full size keyboard, mostly full size that this it's got you know, the real pointing stick, which is important for me because I love those little capstone things. The really interesting thing though is this base. So check this base out. If I flip it up, you can see it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but there's actually some fans in here, additional cooling that it uses to fan, to, to keep the whole thing cool. And the device itself is a battery. This is an extra four hour battery. So when I pop it down, it's got a couple of different modes you can put it in. First of all, I can put it in its regular screen mode like this. Nice, easy. You can always take it out. I can switch this around and pop it in if I want to do movie mode, right? So I can do that. That's great. I can close it up and I can do a tablet. Now this is nice. Unlike the yoga, when you put it into full on tablet mode and there's keys on the back, this one, because I put it in this mode, allows you to have a tablet with nothing here. It says it's a little heavy for a tablet, but it works pretty well. So overall, this to me, I think is the next ThinkPad that I want to own. It's going to replace that 220 there. Now one caveat I will tell you, it's a little heavy here. So watch what happens when you push it back a little bit. Now you don't want to push it back this far usually, but it can be a little top heavy. So just be careful about that. But beyond that, this is the mode I would usually use it in. And look what's really interesting. I want to put it next to the 220 for a minute to show it off. Even though the screen starts up a little bit higher, it's actually not as high as the 220, which is good because when somebody puts their seat back, it's not likely to push it as much. Um, overall, from a weight perspective, weighs just about the same. It weighs about a little over three pounds, which is pretty cool. Now, this version right here will also include LTE for wireless, uh, 256 um, gig SSD, eight gigs of RAM. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Core i7, pretty much anything you want. Of course, the price to match is going to be about 1500 when it comes out uh, sometime uh, this spring. But boy, this is definitely the device that I want to replace my aging 220 because it really does everything, right? It's a tablet. It's uh, a yoga. It allows you to flip. It allows you to put it into that movie watch mode. And it's just so darn cool. I'm Jim Lauterbach from Revision 3 here at CES with what is probably going to be my new computer come springtime, the Helix from Lenovo. This CES update is powered by Ford.